Drew, yes. all your years of service at KSBI, we've gotten you something very important. Uh-oh. Gary, a racing pigeon. A pigeon! <laughs> How did you know? Hi, pigeon. That's very, very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Can I take it? Yeah, there you Come go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Be gentle. It's my pigeon. I can do what I want. Look, this is what you get after three years. I can't wait for four. <laughs> after three years of service at this great establishment, look what they gave me. Aren't you jealous? This is Oklahoma Live. From our studios in Oklahoma City, this is KSBI's Telly Award winning Oklahoma Live. Here are your hosts, Abby Boyles and Drew Schroeder. Oklahoma Live starts now. Hey everybody, welcome to Oklahoma Live. Congratulations on your pigeon. Thanks. You know what the kicker is? After three years, you don't even get to keep the pigeon. It's actually a pigeon they found outside. Right. It's got a tracking number on it, so it turns out it is a professional racing pigeon, wow. and I have to give it back to the owner later Not on today. Not too bad. I know. Too bad. So I get to have a pigeon that I get to uh, take care of for a while. Well, you get it for a little while. Bring some <laughs> cupcakes tomorrow. How about that? Cupcakes with cupcakes. the pigeon? Cupcakes. Well, I mean, you me. can eat the cupcakes. The cupcakes are for you, not yeah, the pigeon. Yeah, I want to keep the pigeon. That's the problem. You so, the yeah, pigeon? you know what? I, maybe the owner will forget to come. And maybe so. Maybe we gave it the wrong address. I don't maybe. know. I don't know. <laughs> well, of course, everybody uh, talking about this since really yesterday. Where were you last night when you heard the news about Robin Williams? I, I was on the radio show. I mean, yeah. it was kind of breaking right as uh, we were getting ready to do the six o'clock hour. And so, yeah, I mean, it just. It, it all broke so quickly. It was amazing. And it's amazing to watch social media now. Oh, yeah. And see, because I saw one person post about it, and then I went and checked to make sure that, because I didn't recognize the website. And so a lot of times, you know, they have those fake death hoaxes. Mm -hmm. And so I went and I checked, and I saw Entertainment Weekly. We had just published a story about it. And the next thing you know, everybody on Facebook is talking about it, like two minutes later. It was amazing. Right. It's I mean, so sad. We all loved Robin Williams. He was amazing. He sure did. He was, of course, 63 years old when he uh, passed away yesterday. And so the good thing is he leaves us with what he was so well known for was great movies. He has yeah. four movies that we can all look forward to um, over about the next year as they uh, continue to be released. And Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb will be out in December. He'll be reprising his role as Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, he has Merry Friggin' Christmas. I can't wait for this one because be the great. cast is fantastic. Merry Friggin' Christmas is a story. He plays Joel McHale's dad. Uh -huh. Joel McHale has a son. Joel McHale forgot the Christmas presents for his son. So Robin Williams and Joel McHale have to go on a road trip, an eight-hour round-trip road oh, trip, wow. where hilarity, I'm sure, ensues yeah. to go and get the kids' presents and bring them back. So the two of them in a car for a movie, just I can't wait to see that one. That's going to be so funny. Uh, the other one he has uh, coming out is Boulevard. Yeah, Boulevard and is one they're saying he may get some awards for mm -hmm. uh, because it is the story of a married man who uh, finds out that he's actually gay later on in life, played mm -hmm. by Robin Williams. So it's one of his serious roles. Right. But that one, there isn't a word yet on when it comes out, but it, uh, it debuted at the Tribeca Film Festival uh, earlier this year. So mm -hmm. hopefully that'll get a release date, but that one yeah. may get some awards talk. Yeah, and then one more, absolutely anything. And this one, he plays the voice of a dog. It's going to be great. <laughs> Dennis the dog. It comes out next year. And a lot of those, you see, I mean, some of them are uh, from Monty Python fame. Yeah. Uh, Simon Pegg's in it, too. So a lot of the big British comedians. And Robin, Robin Williams does a, a voice again, which is yeah. one of the best things he ever did. He is just, he's so funny, but he is also so good in those dramatic roles. And in fact, I think one of the movies I liked the most uh, that he was in was uh, Dead Poet Society. Yes. And that was a more serious role. But then Patch Adams, it's a drama of course, but he was so funny. And I felt like how he acted with the patients and stuff in that movie was kind of how he was in real life from when I've read about him whenever he goes on interviews, uh, TV shows and stuff like that. He just cares about people. He does. He does. And I, uh, he was, one of my favorite things about Robin Williams was just watching him do an interview because yeah. he was all over and you could tell his mind just worked in so many amazing ways. And just, I mean, one of the funniest people of all time. And so yeah. he will be missed. It's very Absolutely. tragic that we don't have him around. Oh, yeah. that's just so sad. 
It's well, too young, but yeah. we have we have his movies to look forward to. We so do, that's a good thing. and he worked a lot, so we've got four more to look forward to coming out here yeah. soon. Uh, Biggest Loser is getting ready to kick off again, coming mm -hmm. up here in September. And surprise, surprise, Oklahoma has got another contestant on a reality show. Yeah. This time his name is Matthew Miller. He is from mm -hmm. Grove, Oklahoma. You can see his weight right there on his shirt in the publicity photo is 386 pounds. He's 31 years old. Uh, he used to be a high school football star, mm -hmm. had a, a, an injury, so he wasn't able to go to college. He was being recruited by big Division One schools. Uh, couldn't go to college because he couldn't play football because of his injury. And then you put on the weight after that, yeah. you know, not be playing sports. He was a model, too. He became a model even yeah. after that, like a male model, and, uh, you know, things just happen. Yeah, and, but you know what? It's kind of a lifelong struggle for him because uh, when I was reading an article about him, it, it said that he was 205 pounds in fifth grade. Yeah. So he's always had those struggles, but, um, you know, was an athlete for a while, uh, got it in check. Now, Biggest Loser hopefully will get him back down, and this is awesome. He wants his longtime girlfriend to marry him. He wants to propose Aww. to her, but he wants to look his best, of course. So good luck to him. I'm yeah. so excited. September 11th on NBC is when we can all tune in to watch Matthew. Watch the rest of the contestants. Watch out, because yeah. we've seen Oklahomans rule on reality shows. That's right. Especially weight loss reality I shows. Know, right? we, but we dominate. It's like we've always got someone on every reality show. I, I love that. It's great. Uh, well, football, let's talk about football a little bit, because, you know, people are signing the recruits and everything and the Sooners are doing something new to the people they are giving scholarships to. Yeah. They're giving them what looks like a diploma. It, it's yeah. kind of a cool way to give somebody a scholarship. Yeah, it was all over social media. This is uh, from Hunter Herndon. He tweeted this and he goes, look, look, I got a scholarship from the University of Oklahoma. It looks like a diploma. It's like through, and even the wording on it, it's like through your great, you know, uh, athletics for a year and blah, blah, blah. You were being awarded. But, you know, it's very yeah. formal and like the gothic uh, writing and everything. Hunter, by the way, is from Forney, Texas. And I think it's awesome whenever we recruit guys out of Texas uh -huh. because I, I would just think that Texas should be awesome. They have awesome football players down there. High school football is everything. Yeah. And I, I saw 40 Texas. I was like, yes, we're getting like more great guys we, from Texas. We get a lot of Texas. Yeah. Texas has got enough recruits to basically fill all the colleges know, in the country. True. And everybody goes after them. So yeah, I think it's great when we recruit them too. If they could put on the bottom, P.S., don't do anything stupid and don't get arrested, right. that would be great. Maybe maybe yeah, yeah. that would help just if you put it in writing. That's right. Those fancy <laughs> scholarship, you know, diploma things, yeah, they need a disclaimer at the bottom. Yeah, I'm getting really don't tired Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. Just go and enjoy school and play football, That's all right? Funny. Oh, my gosh. End of, end of August is almost here, and that means football is getting started. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Well, we've got our funny video, our first funny video of the day. Right. It involves a baby. So a baby. if you love kids, you're going to live this one. Take a look. This is a baby that is really, really into the remote control. Who isn't? Take <laughs> watch, a look. Watch what happens. So as you can Look see, that. the remote and the kid freaks out. That kid is going to be like so the perfect sweet. adult. And then they take the remote away. And, and he's like, oh, I'm kind of sad. And then the remote comes back in and out. Oh, that thing is so cool. Sometimes when I lose the remote, I act that exact same way I when know I find you do. it. I'm so excited. I know you do. You, you I'm are, like, Look, I found it. I like, found it. I found the remote. Yay. I don't have to get up and press the button anymore. Oh, my gosh. Getting up and pressing that button. Oh, it's like the worst. I know. Sometimes I just want to bring back the remotes with the cable attached to it. Just because you never lost those. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you're talking about. VCRs. They used to have before. They actually had the remote with yeah, it was a it was a long cord that went from the VCR all the way to your seat and you actually had to use it that way. Okay. Because they yeah. Boy, I am old. I don't remember that. <laughs> I mean I trust me, I had a couple of VCRs yeah. in my day, but they had remotes. You know, and there was a time, I, I don't know if you've heard about this, before VCRs. I you had heard to go of those to the days. movie theaters to watch movies. I, I don't want to know about those days. That sounds awful. Well, coming up here after the break, we head to the kitchen to make a healthy, quick breakfast that everyone's going to enjoy. We'll tell you about it next. Don't pull that remote on your cord. Don't switch it anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to be like the Mike Tyson of Oklahoma City, and I'm going to race pigeons. That's interesting. None of you guys knew Mike Tyson had pigeons, did you? <laughs> <laughs>
On average, three out of four Oklahomans are denied Social Security disability benefits the first time they apply. But there's good news. Over 70% of people who appeal their claims get the benefits they deserve. At J. Colbert Injury Lawyers, we've helped hundreds of Oklahoma residents appeal and win. And there's no cost to you unless we win. If you've been denied your Social Security disability benefits, don't give up. Get Colbert and get it done. 1-800-237-7200. We get it. You're busy. Work, kids, life. And you need a car to get everyone everywhere they need to go. The last thing you need is to come to a dealership and fill out paperwork. And what about explaining your bad credit situation again and again? Now you don't have to. Just go to thekeyonline.com and complete your application from home. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once approved, you can pick your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. The Key. Cars. Loans. Life. Do you want to lose weight fast? Then get out your smartphone now. Because Only Protein, the protein system for weight loss, has a great TV offer. Only Protein's about athletic performance. It's also a great meal replacement that helps you lose weight. Performance, princess. Weight loss, big shot. People are passionate about the Only Protein System. The results are for real. Because it does more than boost your energy, it also helps control your appetite and burn fat all day. I'm losing weight without losing muscle. Just 103 calories per serving. The meal replacement you want, the energy you need. It's more than just protein. It's Only Protein. All right. You win. With Only Protein, we both win. It's about feeling better. And being better. I feel better than I have in years. Order now and get our meal replacement on the go 10 pack. Protein powder 5 pack, plus our new Metatherm weight loss pills. It's an $84 weight loss value for just $19.99 risk free. Order now and get free shipping. Only protein. Feel better, be better. Get a jump start on your day with animated conversation. The reason is we know there's a little more junk in the truck. <laughs> it's a downright fun show. We have to oh be my fair. gosh! We have she to is fair. cheating! The Balancing Act. Tune in every day for stories and solutions to help balance your life. From the kitchen, to the gym, to your pocketbook, we've got you covered. Ooh. Life's the Balancing Act, and we're here to help. The Balancing Act, coming this fall to MyKSBI. Welcome back. We all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but... The adjustment of heading back to school may be a little too much to really get it done in the morning. Yeah, that's why we've got Janice Cranmer here, and she's going to show us a healthy alternative to a nice quick breakfast for kids, adults, sure. everybody, right? Yeah, not just for kids. This is for adults as well. These are called overnight oats in a jar. Okay. And the whole concept is that your base is going to stay the same. You basically make the base, put it in the refrigerator, and all the liquid is absorbed overnight, and so you don't actually have to heat the oats up. Plus, oh. it's nice to have a cooler... You know, breakfast in the when morning. When it's 100 when it's degrees outside. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are going to make your own overnight oats. Okay. okay. So you basically take the same amount of each one of these products. We've got quick oats, um, Greek yogurt, and then organic fat free milk. Okay. So you'll take the same amount. So, Drew, if you want to start, we'll go yeah. a third cup of each. Okay. okay. And you can start with the milk, Abby. And then you can kind of mix your toppings in. The good thing about this is it's going to last you a long time. Abby and I talked about complex carbohydrates we last did. night. Oh, wow. You guys have some we fun conversations. Oh, yeah. You girls get crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm, always, I'm usually hungry. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, by the time it's the afternoon because I haven't eaten much. And sure. then she's like, complex carbs, stop the problem. Where was yeah. this conversation taking place? Was there a bar involved? No. Or was this no, on the silly. phone? It was just via text message. Oh, yeah. I thought you girls were just chit-chatting on the phone. No, no, no. Okay. So complex carbohydrates, you need milk. Oh, yeah, I do need milk. It's um, basically carbohydrates that are made up of multiple molecules, which the body takes a lot of effort to break down. So they're going to sustain you for a longer amount of time as opposed to a candy bar or just a white piece of bread or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a quick burst of energy and then it's gone. So bad carbohydrates. Bad. What's happening over there? I might there? be splashing yogurt on myself. It's all good gravy. <laughs> no, good gravy. I, we discussed this. I thought we were wearing aprons. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> okay, so okay, it's so in there. Do I have to your mix? Base. Um, go ahead and take a scoop of this. This is flaxseed. Yeah. Um, try to, I know. Do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Mom. won't taste it. Mom. You won't even taste it. Just like put how it in much? There. Okay, that's good. Okay. Screw it. Tip it. it. Joe, it'll help make you regular. It'll help make you again. regular. Activia. <laughs> Yay. Activia. Thanks, yeah. girls. I'm glad you're watching out for me. No, no problem. problem. <laughs> so mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. Yeah, mix all that in. You gave me a big old jar, James. I know. 
Well, we didn't. We only had one size of Drew's drawer, so okay, you know. Uh, you got I got the little in. one. Yeah. And then from there, you guys can just mix that up real good. Yeah. And put whatever you want. So if you want like a Snickers thing, you might just do some dark chocolate, which is higher in antioxidants than regular milk chocolate. Okay. And some granola or yeah. almonds or something like that. Uh -huh. This is blue agave, so it's a lot Ooh. healthier than maple syrup or sweet or sweet sugar. Okay. Try to add cinnamon to your oatmeal whenever possible. It's a natural diet diuretic. Um, again, Drew, making your again, regular. Thanks, guys. Stuff. Wow. And then uh, <laughs> peanut butter, too. It's basically fake peanut butter. Oh. Ooh, Do you have any, like, smashed Heath fat. bars or Snicker no, bars or well, M&Ms or something? We have, we have fruit, <laughs> though. You can do blueberries or bananas I or apples. Blueberries I went with and the bananas. dessert ones. Oh, okay. Of course. So I, hey, well, it's that? just because it's closer, you know? What's that stuff? Over, is that granola over there? Uh huh. That's Can granola. Pass the granola. Pass the granola. granola. Drew, come on. There you go. Here. Are you sure you don't want to add any fruit? No, I'm sure. Here. Give me a blueberry. A blueberry. There you go. Blueberry. It's like the cherry on top of the sundae. There you go. Yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to drown the blueberry in more, uh, in more chocolate. chocolate. More chocolate. Yeah. There you go. Cowbell. <laughs> That's what we need. There so you basically, go. I've okay. got, yeah. A whole hodgepodge of stuff that yes. looks kind of gross right now, right? No, it looks pretty good. Okay. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator just overnight. You can make this the night before. Yeah. And okay. then when you wake up, you're just going to pull it out of the fridge and you have um, more of a hardened, complete. Product here. So, really, so that's what it comes awesome. out looking like. Yeah. Okay. So, mine has peanut butter, cinnamon, flaxseed, blueberries, and dark chocolate chips. That's pretty yeah. good. Can, have a taste Can I try of that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Man, I'm still mixy mixy over here. Yeah. Okay, notice he didn't get any of the blueberries. I'll get a blueberry I'll try it. for you. Yes. Come here, blueberry. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. You're spilling over there. It's a little Goodness, messy. Goodness, what a boy. Mmm. That's yeah, boy. that is really, really so good. Cool. You just take it in the car. Um, mm. Kids can eat it. It's mm. a complex carbohydrate, so we can eat it. Right. And it can sustain you for a long amount of time, mm. and it's full of like natural, healthy ingredients. I think kids yeah. will really like that. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Too. So there's tons of um, kind of ideas how to make a Snickers version or stuff like that on Pinterest. You can go there and look up overnight oats in a jar, um, or just you know Google it. You'll find it. And it's nice because you don't have to worry about getting it all set up the morning yeah. of. Just, nope. just the night take it out, give it to your kid. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Anything awesome. the night before is always awesome. Yeah, and they can help make the toppings, and so they feel involved. Good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. Enjoy. Good job, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Well, coming up here next, we're going to take a cruise with Oklahoma River Cruises. Where do you find out what's coming up there? All right, guys. Are you ready? Cox Game Day. Woo! Wow. Great. What games are on? Are you kidding? With Contour from Cox and the fastest in-home Wi-Fi, we've got the Oklahoma game, the Florida game, the Louisiana game, and the latest episode of Chopped. Please open your baskets. Did you say Chopped? Yeah. It's Leftovers Week. Get a Cox bundle for $99.99 a month, including HBO. Add Cox Home Security and get free pro install and equipment up to a $350 value. Plus, ask how to get a $200 prepaid card. Yeah! Oh, Unbelievable! Can you believe he cooked a flan with those ingredients? Switch to a Cox bundle today and get free pro install and HBO. Bundles are only $99.99 a month. Call today and ask how to get a $200 prepaid card. I wish I could cook like that. Anyone can. This takes practice and focus. Get a Cox bundle for $99.99 a month. Add Cox Home Security and get free pro install and equipment up to a $350 value. Plus, ask how you can get a $200 prepaid card. Call today. This summer, while you're packing, burglars could be planning. While you're out, bad guys may be breaking in. Unfortunately, vacation season is also break-in season. A burglary occurs every 15 seconds. But this summer, you don't have to worry about a thing. Because ADT, the leader in home security, presents the Worry-Free Summer. Call 800-ADT-7173 and get ADT security for as low as $28.99 a month. That's less than a dollar a day with a six-month money-back guarantee. So this summer, go ahead, have fun. We've got your back. Call 800-ADT-7173 now and get the peace of mind that comes with ADT. We'll help you protect what matters most. Call now, 800-ADT-7173, and get ADT security as low as $28.99 a month. ADT, always there. Hello, 
Welcome back. There's a lot to do out on the Oklahoma River. Shay Losberg with Oklahoma River Cruises joins us now. Welcome back. Hi, guys. Hi. So much going on this summer. Great time to get out. What do you guys have going on? Well, the first thing I want to talk about, we're really excited. Our Bricktown Landing is finally open. I think we were getting ready to open it last time yeah. I was here. I have gone down and actually walked from Harkins Theater down on the canal over to our landing just to kind of experience it for myself so that I can tell you guys what it's like right. and it's beautiful it's a beautiful walk the canal is exceptionally beautiful of course yeah. you, you've probably been down there you know and now we have this great connection so go eat dinner uh, walk down to ride the canal boats actually and then go down mm -hmm. to the river cruises get on board have a drink nightcap or whatever and cruise watch the sunset and so you're talking, good, if people yeah. don't know, the landing is right behind Bass Pro Shop, right? Where all the big bronze statues are exactly. that have kind of been sitting there in the middle of nowhere for a while. Exactly. Now it's all yeah. coming together. Both yes. parts are coming together. Yes, awesome. finally. That We're is cool. Really getting to see the connection. Um, the, there, it's kind of strange because there's a lot of uh, construction going on. They're getting yeah. ready to build that cross town through there. So if you're going to look for it, go all the way as far back as you can and park by the huge horses. Yeah. It's really the best way to tell you. And we're <laughs> yeah. below that. Okay. <laughs> so, that is awesome. great. I'm glad that's all finally coming together. That's a really cool thing. We are thing. too. We are too. It's really fun well, to have. And let's talk about Panama Canal Day. What exactly this is that? That's fun. All right. Well, this Friday is the 100th anniversary of the Panama Canal opening. Mm -hmm. our, our locks are actually fashioned after the locks in the Panama Canal. Really? So in celebration of that, if you come on board and you say, Viva Panama, we'll give you 10% off your ferry tickets. <laughs> Viva, Panama. Viva Panama! Viva Panama! Yeah! <laughs> I can't, I said Panama. That's Panama. all right. I think they'll let it yeah. slide. Yeah, I'd let you slide. <laughs> That's mine. 10% off yeah. for you. Don't worry. <laughs> That's all in the boat. It's all good. And speaking awesome. of wine, that's pretty good on the Sunset Cruises, right? Sunset Live Cruise? Yes, yeah. we had the Argots this Friday also. So mm -hmm. Friday's going to be a really busy time for us down on the river. If you like uh, lounge music at all, the Argots are great. They're going to play for a little while uh, at the dock right before the Sunset Cruise goes out. So come and join us if you'd like. And that's a partnership you all have with ACM at UCO, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. We're yeah. since we've had this new landing at the uh, you know connecting us with Bricktown, we're doing all that we can to partner with some Bricktown vendors to show how we can, you know, blend all this together, how we can make it all become one district, one area working together. Yeah. And it Fantastic. is. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> And what about bluegrass for the bluegrass lovers? Next month, uh, this is one of my favorites, and I don't know if you guys like the banjo, but I do. Oh, yeah. Um, the Extreme Bluegrass is a great band here from Oklahoma, and they will be playing for about 45 minutes on the floating dock at Meridian for about, uh, well, throughout September. Okay. So those tickets are a little more than a regular Sunset Cruise would be, but it's due to that entertainment. It's well worth it. Mm -hmm. Well worth cool. it. Okay. Yeah, I went to a couple of them last year. So. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, with you, banjo. Awesome. You, yeah, you can't get me. The banjo is well, a great one. And down at that Meridian Landing, everything's a little more uh, wildlife mm -hmm. looking. So mm -hmm. there's you know lots of animals and birds and trees and grass and it's, yeah. it's almost yeah. uh, almost swampy down there. There you go. <laughs> Fits really well. Swampy. You've got one more. <laughs> uh, put a cork in the river. What is that? We've partnered with. Put a cork in at Winery, and they're doing a two hour education. Well, it's actually more of a tasting on board the boat. Our first one sold out within a week and a half of having it open on the website. We, so we decided to open actually two more. We have one the August 31st this month, I believe, and then another one on uh, September 18th. Mm -hmm. But those tickets are going to go fast, I know, as soon as I get through visiting with you guys because your viewers apparently love this cruise. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's a great time. Wine tasting. And it's amazing to see all the different things that you guys have been doing because I remember, I mean, what was it, three, four years ago? How long have they been yeah. around? Well, uh, the boats have actually been operating for a full six years. They six years. They started dabbling wow. around around seven years ago. Yeah, so. and just That's all really the different neat. things you offer now and how people are so into it. It's a, it's a really neat thing for downtown. We enjoy it. We're looking forward to all the fabulous new things that are getting ready to happen on the river too and you guys can go on ferry service the captains will tell you all about the future plans too cool okay fantastic and where do folks go to get tickets most importantly okrivercruises.com okrivercruises.com right. i hope i'll see so you guys down there soon done yes i think we should the the wine tasting 
It's uh, yeah, well, it's amazing. Like I went down yesterday. I hadn't been down to Bricktown for maybe a month, and it's like everything changes. It's like there's something new every Hot time you go down there. So Absolutely. yeah, I'm there. Let's go to the wine tasting, okay. and I'll bring my banjo. All right, just cause. <laughs> That's right. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. I'll sit on the Thanks boat. The boat, I'll, and I'll, I'll just play I'll banjo. That from happening. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll have my video camera. Okay, right. good. <laughs> well, coming good. up here next, oh, we have organizational tips for our back to schoolers. That's right. Valerie Riley joins us next. Keep it right here on KSBI. So why switch to DISH? With DISH you get more options, you get more value, you get more channels. With DISH you just, you get more. Only DISH gives you so much more than any other cable or satellite TV service provider. And you can get more for less. And now for a limited time, you can save up to $900 in just your first year. In fact, DISH customers spend an average of 21% less than direct TV customers. I love DISH because of one thing. I save money. Prices start at just $32.99 a month, but for a limited time, you can get DISH for as little as $19.99 a month for 12 months. For me and for my family, it comes down to really three things. It comes down to price, quality programming, and convenience. With DISH, we're able to get all that. And now you can get more for less. Switch to DISH and save with prices starting at just $32.99 a month. But wait, call right now and save even more with promotional prices starting at just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call now and get premium channels, HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, Stars, and Blockbuster at home free for three months. I'm saving tons of money. Only with this can you watch all your live and recorded TV anywhere. So take your TV shows on the go without being charged more for it. You can decide when, where, How, what you want to watch, and when. where you want to watch it. Now get free installation in up to six rooms. Call now and get premium channels, HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, Stars, and Blockbuster at home free for three months. And now you can even get HD channels free with qualifying packages. Plus, for a limited time, you'll get a whole home DVR upgrade free when you sign up. Call today and get the low promotional price of just $19.99 a month. That's a $13 savings every month, but you must call now. It's the biggest deal in entertainment. Dollar for dollar, Dish gives you more than anybody else. We are Dish customers for life. We love Dish. We love Dish. This is one of our best deals ever. Call now to switch to Dish and lock in your savings today. More ways to watch, more ways to save. And it's only from Dish. Nestled in the mountains of northwest Arkansas, minutes from Eureka Springs is Spider Creek Resort. Secluded on 50 acres, our cabins from studios to three bedrooms all have fully equipped kitchens and outdoor grills. Spider Creek is a home away from home for families, fishermen, and groups of all sizes. Enjoy hiking, float the crystal clear waters of the white or fish for trout. Our full service fly shop will address all your equipment, food, and beverage needs. Spider Creek Resort, your home in the mountains. On the King of Queens, he's got the moves. He's got the style. Look at this, honey. I swept myself a bra. And he's definitely got the charm. Let's get it on. Kevin James has a special delivery. All week long on the King of Queens. Weeknights at 10 on KSBI 52. Welcome back to Oklahoma Live. If your kids haven't headed back to school already, chances are they start back next week, maybe the following week. Yeah. And you know the old packing the lunch the night before or rushing in the morning to get it done is uh, back in full swing. I was always the uh, morning of. Were you a gal. brown bagger? Were you a bring your lunch or were oh, you eat a school lunch? Girl? I had a rockin' school uh, lunchbox. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, I think I had like a pink one and I had a hand me down for my brother, which wasn't so cool. And then, um, but yeah, I bought school. School lunch a lot. Oh, you did. So yeah. yeah, we were all we were all about just bringing our school lunch. So really? I thought this was funny. All the different suggestions they're giving yes. everybody on uh, what's good and bad. That's right, and and it's so true. So little, little tip for you. Yeah. They say the experts say the worst is the brown bag lunch. I you look at the, the mushy brown, brown bag. bag. Uh, no, but it all gets squished in there, and there's no efficient use of space. You can't organize, you know, all your sandwich and your chips. It's just a mess. True. It's a one cent bag. I mean, come on, it's a it's brown like a, bag. It doesn't get any easier than no, the no, brown no, no. bag. That's the worst. I don't know how things didn't go bad in the brown bag. I mean, you throw like lunch meats in your locker for half I don't a know. day, I and then you eat it. But I remember, <laughs> I know, right? But I remember all those field trips where like all of our brown bag lunches went in a big box and they mushed them together, and I'm like, <laughs> I spent 20 minutes on my sandwich this morning. It's still I was a the fat same little kid. I'll just say, whether I was it's like, this thin yeah. or this thick, it's still the same sandwich. I was a chubby little kid. I cared yeah. about my lunch a lot. <laughs> so then the best was the best is the lead. 
free box. Okay. Take a look at the lead, lead free, free box. box. Um, it keeps it organized, nice little plastic uh, box to keep, you know, your fruit in, your sandwich in, so that precious sandwich does not get smushed. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a smushed sandwich. You know what sandwich. happens to that after yeah. the kid is done with lunch? It goes into the uh, locker and it never comes home. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> and it stays you, in there unclean. A brown bag, you, you throw tell, away. You tell that kid to bring that stuff home. <laughs> or you could get the glad stuff for like the, the you know, the disposable plastic oh, thing. Okay, that would work. Yeah, I'm That's a little bit that. more expensive, but I would do it for my kid. Uh, the the worst for the next uh, uh, category is one big um, or several small containers, mm. because if you let, take a look at this little pink uh, box here, you have you know you have like one container and your stuff just is just floating around in it. Yeah, that was the old classic, you know. And then they had the thermos in there that fit perfectly yeah, on the side. The thermos is always too big. I'm like, I can't fit my extra candy bar in there. <laughs> and then uh, the the next category was the cupcake. I don't know whose mom is giving them cupcakes, but best mom ever, except when it's in a bag like this. Who said the cupcake, cupcake in, a bag? in a bag? Who does that? I, I mean, mean, it gets smushed. So the you know the uh, solution for that. Next picture, please. The cupcake in a jar. Okay, let's send the kid with some breakable glass. Exactly. That doesn't make sense either. No, it doesn't make sense. And Have again, they never heard of Hostess? They make snack cakes that are made for lunch boxes. I know, boxes. I know, right? <laughs> or ding dongs, whatever. Just put something in for the sweet tooth. As you can tell, I'm shooting these down. It's like, okay, come yeah. on, Pinterest, really? I know, Mason right? Mason jars. These, these moms who are putting their cupcakes <laughs> in the jar, that kid's going to get beat up at That's recess, so okay? So true. And then uh, the next. Oh, category is the deli meat. I love this story. The deli meat, the prepackaged meat, is just bad for you. It has tons of sodium, preservatives, all that bad stuff. So the experts say to be healthy for your kid, you need to go to the deli counter and you need to get whole cuts of meat. So Drew, you're gonna have to cash out. Uh, we'll I, have a little more cash for that. You know, meat. I do agree with that. The, the deli meat is way better, and it tastes better, and it lasts longer, and it's yeah. really not that much more expensive. It's so really I'm not. cool with the deli meat. Let's go. I'm good with that. Drew's not That's shooting right. that down. And finally, this is very important, folks, because I was a PB and J eater. Oh yeah. Now I never did this, but some people still do it. It's the peanut butter on one side with the jelly on the other. You mush it together. By the time lunch is around, the jelly is soaking out of the bread. It's oozing out. It is disgusting. It yeah. looks horrible. It's on your chips. It's on your cupcake. It's on your thermos. It's everywhere. Oh my it's a God. mess. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like I'm at the therapist, and you're like, <laughs> this is why I'm so angry. My mom did this to me. So okay, the so solution is what I mastered. You put the peanut butter on each side with the jelly mm -hmm. in the middle. As you can see there, and I am a strawberry preserves girl. I am strawberry preserve too. Yeah. I, I'm not. I, I don't agree with people who say grape jelly is the way to go. I mm -hmm. think the strawberry is best. For you, or raspberry. For parents out there who don't want to pack your kids' lunch because you disagree with my theory, I'll come do it for them because they deserve a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with yeah. the peanut butter on each side and the jelly in the middle. Her payment is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's I know. All I she will make one for myself and cut off the crust. <laughs> I agree with you. I, those are those are interesting. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. But yes, yeah, so the yeah. PB and J. You have to do it like that. I'm gonna take a break. Okay, okay. Tell us about the you video. okay? I'm good. Man, I tell you what. Who knew the school lunches could be so stressful so later on in life? Uh, okay, so let's talk about uh, swears in movies. There mm -hmm. is a uh, movie group. It's called VidAngel. Yeah. And it's VidAngel.com. And it's a community where people come together. They take movies that have a lot of bad words and things in them. And they basically cut out the bad stuff so that people can watch them oh, okay. uh, on their own. Well, yeah. they've made this new video, a commercial basically. And they decided to take 3,192 paintballs and shoot... A family of four in five seconds, just a little over five seconds. That's as the amount of bad stuff that's in the movie uh, mm -hmm. The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, okay. Kind of to prove a point. That was a dirty movie. So watch a little bit of this, and they'll try to explain at the beginning exactly what they're getting at. So for every bad word, bad thing you see in that movie, they say everything makes a mark, basically. Oh my gosh. And one or two is okay, but when you add them all together and you put them in the form of a paintball and shoot people, yeah. which is awesome, yeah. <laughs> it looks like this. And so wow. that's basically what this website's all about. And they've been around for a couple of years now, and it's yeah. really a way for people to watch movies 
and watch movies that have bad things in them and still watch them with their family. So That's a good idea. It really is a good idea. No one's ever really fought it in terms of copyright and everything because it just gets the movie out there a little bit more. But right. Yeah, as you can see, every word makes an impact. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. I don't know why. I, it, are you telling me to watch my mouth? No, no, no. no. I, I personally, it doesn't really even make that yeah, much sense to I me. Know. I just watch the, like watching a family of four get shot with a bunch of paintballs. I know. Balls. That is pretty Really was the point video. of that video. I know. I was like, this is a long description for you just want to watch a family get shot by paintballs. Yeah, that was it. That's funny. Well, we're going to chat with Valerie Riley in just a bit, but first, here's a song from Mont Lyons. Coming up here next, Valerie Riley from the Riley Group gets our kids ready for school. Get some organized. That's Keep it right, right here. It's like AT&T knew what we wanted. Just the other day, we were saying we wanted a TV experience that fit into our life. And our budget. And then we see this UVerse TV deal. Call to get UVerse TV for just 19 a month with qualifying bundles. Keep the same great price for two years, guaranteed. Plus, get a total home DVR included for life. Great deal, huh? And get this, I've always wanted to put a TV in here, but there's no TV outlet. Now we can. By adding the wireless receiver from AT&T, we can move the TV where we want. And with the total home DVR, we can record four shows at once and play them back in any room. We never miss a show now. Call to get UVerse TV for just 19 a month with qualifying bundles. Keep the same great price for two years, guaranteed. Plus, get a total home DVR included for life. This AT&T deal was made for us. Look, they even knew I wanted to record this show. That was me, hun. That was her. If you've been denied your Social Security disability, don't take no for an answer. Get Colbert and get it done. 1-800-237-7200. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Don't look good. Yeah, it looks like it's both. Two tires. Shoot, that'll set you back 400 Yeah, $400 I don't have. Just what I don't need. What up, Joe? Hey, Joe. You mean CashNetUSA.com, man. CashNetUSA. CashNetUSA.com. Man, I believe this is what you do need. It's safe and simple. Says here you can complete the application in minutes. Um, I'll take it from here. 
Complete the application in minutes, and if approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks, Cash... CashNetUSA.com. Man. Yeah. It's actually my cell phone. Okay, I need that okay, to make calls. Sure, I get it. Call now at 800-620-1963 and save 25% as a new customer with promo code TV234. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Joe, so just use the gate. We won't judge. The bond between mother and baby is magical, especially when mom is breastfeeding and has a supportive workplace. Breastfeeding moms are more productive and take fewer sick days, so it makes great business sense to support moms with flexible break times and private spaces to pump. A little support and understanding can make all the difference. Best for moms, best for babies, best for business. Support breastfeeding. It's worth it. On the next Law & Order Criminal Intent, a man confesses to an unsolved homicide. My baby was murdered. You think it's an act? You ask me, he made the whole thing up. Did he do the unthinkable? What did you do? Law & Order Criminal Intent, Wednesday at 8, 7 central on My Network TV. Welcome back. It's time to head back to school with the Riley Group to help you get organized. That's right. Valerie Riley joins us now, and you are the perfect person, I would imagine, <laughs> to go shopping for school supplies <laughs> with because you'd have everything ever, everything organized mm -hmm. ready to go that first day. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, yeah. that's what we try to do for our clients, too. And it's really fun. Like, school supplies are just fun in general. I still like them. Mm -hmm. I want to buy them for myself, so it's yeah. just a fun thing to do anyway. They yeah. make them so much cuter these days. Yeah. I went to Target long, long ago, and I was like, these are the coolest notebooks ever. Because remember, the best organizational thing ever was the Trapper Keeper. Yeah, and that I was like had a cutting keeper. edge. Yeah, it's amazing. true. And honestly, still, a Trapper Keeper isn't a bad organizational <laughs> yeah. tool yeah. for business. Yeah. So, yeah. That's right. yeah, yeah, it's great. Awesome. So, where do we get started with the whole uh, shopping for back to school? Well, I thought that instead of just talking about shopping for back to school, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are already kind of in school, mm -hmm. yeah. I thought about some tips they could use now that they are back in school. Okay, perfect. Um, because I think this is a super chaotic time. You have kids, yes. right? Are they in school? Two. No, not okay, yet. Not oh, yet. man, I'm holding out. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, it's just a chaotic time because you go from this summer kind of leisurely pace to right back into the swing of things. And I think things get out of control for parents very quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so one of our big suggestions is to have a landing place in the house. So where all the paper comes, you have a binder for every kid. They know exactly where their homework goes. They know where permission slips are, kind of field trip activities. Anything that you get from the school, which is a ton, goes right in the central location. So buying a binder or a few binders, color coordinated, would be great. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, the other things are plan ahead. I'm a big planner. We tell our, all our clients to plan ahead. Plan ahead for breakfast in the morning. Know what your kids are going to eat. Know what they're going to wear. Have them set out their own outfits. Even at five years old, they really can help. Then it helps them start getting organized and into the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is have a place for paperwork to land. Have a place where you have a tag to remind you when you leave the house the next day. Don't forget your permission slips because they're going on field trips. If they don't have that, they can't go. Don't forget your lunch. Don't forget your locker. All those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine a big part of the stress for parents bringing the kids back to school is just the parents not being prepared. Right. Yeah. And it's just because it happens so fast. You don't think the summer's over, and the next thing you know, you look around, and you're like, oh my gosh, the summer's over, and I have to be prepared. Yeah. yeah. So we just try to help our clients get prepared by doing these things, laying them out ahead of time, so they don't have to worry about it and be in a panic. Okay. Yeah. So. How about homework? How do you get the kids organized and get them going on the homework <laughs> after school? Yeah, that's a hard one. Mainly, I don't have kids myself, but I can tell you all our clients that have kids, if they have a quiet place to go and you plan for that, make a little space in your house. If it's the kitchen table, don't have the TV on, don't mm -hmm. have dogs running around. Give them a pl quiet place to kind of land. It's the same with us. If we want to read or study for work, we need to do it in peace and quiet. So just yeah. plan ahead for that. Okay. Do parents ever want to know about uh, school, uh, the locker, how do you organize that stuff? Organizing a locker. Yeah. yeah, it depends on the kid, I think, but there's tons of products out there. TJ Maxx is a great resource. They're really low cost, and they have all kinds of kind of cool, trendy items. Um, there's racks that you can put in your locker, hooks for your coats or your umbrella, um, all kinds of things. And we can always come do it for them if they want. Ooh, so. that's cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Any other advice um, before we let you go? 
I think the other thing, the big thing that I remind parents to do is to create emergency plans. Okay. When you're sick or your kid's sick and you need somebody to run and go get them at school, just make sure to have a backup plan. I'm a big planner, as yeah. you can say. I've said it about 20 times. Well, so. yeah, <laughs> but I mean, that you do this for a living yeah. and you know if you plan, the stress is pretty much it's, gone. Exactly. That's yeah. really the source of stress is a lack of planning. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. So you need to get that organization spot, the folders, the binders, all the stuff. Yeah. We get to go school supply shopping now, yeah. I think, right? I, yeah, right? This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be Are are you okay if we send the kids with a brown bag for lunch, or do you? Just... I'm fine with a brown bag. <laughs> See? Sorry, Abby. It's, what? It's her. She does Come this for on. a living. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's a professional right there. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure she has it all organized with containers inside the brown bag, though. You can check uh, Valerie's company on it, the Riley Group. Info. Get a hold of her, and she'll come organize your life. Uh, yeah. Get some of thank you. you. <laughs> Coming up, uh, it's Women in the Air. We're going to chat about an aviation scholarship and the Oki Derby Air Rally. Keep it right here on KSBI. More home, less money, happy clients? You bet. Very satisfied. I, I loved every bit of it. We had a lot of fun together building this house together. Your home's in your hands. You build it. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Hi, I'm George Foreman. People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can provide patent referrals and submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee your company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-460-0549. That's 1-800-460-0549. Did you know there's a new revolutionary way to shop and save online? Happy Bid Day, the web's trusted source for exciting auction shopping. Yes, you can score brand new factory sealed products like laptops, tablets, Big screen TVs, gift cards, tools, appliances, jewelry, and much more at incredible discounts. The future of online shopping is here at HappyBidDay.com. Imagine paying $48.20 for an HD TV. How about a 10-inch tablet for just $30.45? Or a top-of-the-line espresso machine for just $10.50? Sounds amazing? You better believe it. Unlike traditional auctions, there is never a reserve, and auctions open at $1, giving you incredible discounts on your favorite products. What are you waiting for? You can save like I did. Join the fun and start saving. Happy Bid Day offers a bid till you win program, buy at auctions, and money back guarantee. New customers use the promo code below and get 50 bonus bids. Go to happybidday.com today and let's go bidding. Better home, better price, happy quiet, you bet with You Build It. I would do this again in a heartbeat. Very satisfied. Your home's in your head. You build it. It's time for weather with KSBI meteorologist Edward St. Pay. Thank you, Abby and Drew. Let's take a look. Right now, high pressure, the main factor. Nice weather in store for the evening hours. Clear skies, winds from the northeast, the low 64 degrees. Sunny and 86 for tomorrow. A great day across the area. Low humidity levels in the 45% range. And then Thursday and Friday, sunny highs around 88. Thursday, 93. Friday, sunny for the weekend with a 20% chance for showers, but warming up to about 96. Edward St. Pay with your KSBI forecast. Welcome back. The Okie Derby Proficiency Air Rally is at the Sundance Airport in Yukon, and it's August 16th. That's right. Coming up here to tell us more is Chairperson Heather Sturzik. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad well, to this be here. sounds awesome. Yeah. Great thing uh, right here in the metro. Yes. Yep. Yeah, right here at Sundance Airport. It's um, 122nd and Sarah Road. Okay. okay. Well, what exactly is it? Tell us a little bit about what we're going to see there. Okay. So the whole purpose of Okie Derby is to 
um, build scholarship, a scholarship fund. Every year, the Oklahoma chapter of the 99s gives away $5,000 scholarship to a female who wants to learn how to fly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pilots will get together and they'll predict their fuel burn and time based off of a course that we give them to fly. And whoever comes closest to their predicted fuel burn and time wins. So yeah. bragging rights are involved. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. You know what? I don't know a lot of female pilots. So I think it's a great way to get women involved. I have probably I have my uncle, I have a couple of cousins, all men who are pilots. But I think that's great. What, how does this help uh, women in the aviation field? Well, it's really helped me, to be honest. I'm one of the scholarship winners about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up flying with my father and financially couldn't really afford to learn how to fly. Well, um, a couple years ago, I found out about the Oklahoma chapter of the 99s, and I applied for their scholarship, and it paid for my entire private pilot course. Wow. wow. So now, do you race? Do you, do you get to do the race part? <laughs> I raced last year. Yeah. Now that I'm chairing it this year, I'm not going to race. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been a significant change in my life. Now I'm a commercial pilot, actually. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, what's that process like? How long does it take to get from your license to really getting into the aviation field like that? It just really depends on how much time you can put towards, um, towards flying. Mm -hmm. So I started about two years ago, actually. Oh, I got wow. my private pilot about two years ago, and now I'm already a commercial pilot. Wow. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. That's fantastic. So uh, who can we see if we go uh, head out there to watch the show? Um, you can see lots and lots of pilots out there. Um, if you go to the Sundance Airport FBO, we're going to have um, we're going to have a pancake breakfast at 7:30, mm -hmm. and the public is welcome to join us. And then at about during the during the race, we have put U.S. sleep tracking devices in the airplanes, so the public is welcome to come out and kind of watch the race because it's, mm -hmm. it's about a two-hour. Um, route. Yeah. And then when they come back, we're going to have a post rally barbecue and awards banquet. And so, okay. do they have to fly through stuff? I mean, is there like an obstacle course? <laughs> or, I mean, what, what, what does the race entail exactly? So, they go to different airports um, around Oklahoma and they have to, they have a navigator with them. So, basically, you want to be most precise as possible. They don't have to fly through routes, but they have to fly a certain, pe certain course. And then, what they'll do is we have um, a diagram on the airport that they're flying over, and then they have to draw that diagram so we know that they went to that particular airport. Oh my God, it's, oh, wow. it's like a pub cheat. crawl without the beer, and you're flying a plane. <laughs> yeah, pub crawl. <laughs> going, it's a pub like crawl that? in the sky. You like how my mind works? It kind of brings it all together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No <laughs> beer involved, but <laughs> afterwards, maybe. Right, exactly. Afterwards. <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, tell us where folks can get more information on this great event and check it out. Okay, well, they can go to okiderby.com. Okay. Or we have a Facebook page too for Orchid Derby. Right. And we're all welcome to come out August 16th. Yes. Perfect. Please do. Congrats. Yeah. I Thank hope I see so you piloting much. our next flight. Awesome. Absolutely. I would love to. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. You. Thanks for coming well, in. Thanks for having me. Keep it here. We have a lot more fun ahead, including some more musical performances. But first, here's our cheap laughs. Attention, men. Have you used Just for Men hair dye and feel you may have suffered a chemical burn? If you or a loved one used Just For Men and developed facial swelling, burning, sores, blistering, skin rash, or scarring, the law offices of Wright & Schulte are investigating claims for victims that may have received chemical burns after using Just For Men. Call now for a free no-obligation legal consultation. Call the number on your screen now or visit JustForMenLawyer.com. Again, call the number on your screen now or visit JustForMenLawyer.com. Want great green grass all year round with less mowing and practically no watering or fertilizing? Hi, Bob Vila here with a breakthrough in grass seed that can give you great green grass. It's called Grassology. Its roots extend four times deeper than ordinary grass to reach the good stuff that's underground, like water and nutrients. And the best part, Grassology reaches a dwarf height, so there's a lot less mowing. Guaranteed. We've all seen bare patches, bald spots, or brown spots caused by pets. Try Grassology. It naturally fights against disease, insects, even weeds, saving you time and money. Call or go online now and get one pound of Grassology for just $14.99. But if you call right now, you can double the order to two pounds. Plus, you can also get a 25-foot pocket hose ultra, Grassology, for $14.99. Call now. You'll be glad you did. Call 1-800-503-0671. And today you can get a special Grassology double offer and a pocket hose ultra. So call 1-800-503-0671. Call now. Me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mad about you, baby. 
mad about you. Coming this fall to my KSBI. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and ductwork, interior electrical systems and plumbing, major kitchen appliances, water heaters, washers and dryers, garage door openers, ceiling fans, and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call now. There's no obligation. But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call 1-800-647-5519. That's 1-800-647-5519 or log on to getahomeplan.com to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. Well, we're back. We, we're back. We made you wait for the cheap laughs. We psyched you out, but yeah. now we got them. Prepare to laugh. Take yes. a look. Laugh. You better laugh. Was learning cursive really necessary? Yes. Bad, bad decisions make good stories. Story of my life. I think the freezer deserves a light as well. Why? No kidding. Yeah. What is? Why does the freezer get left out? It needs out? to be equal. There is a great need for a sarcasm font. Okay, I that agree. would be like my entire emails, <laughs> my text messages. Just I, call it the Abby font. Yeah, I believe that when it says Abby sent this, that's the sarcasm font right yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need. But yes, yeah. there is a need for a sarcasm font. Absolutely. Or for people to actually talk still. That's true. I don't know if curse is really necessary though. <laughs> I don't know. They don't teach kids. It's cursive this anymore. Is cheap this, this is like deep, you know, pondering right here. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. We can steal that from Arsenio Hall hmm. from 20 Things years ago. Go, hmm. Nice. All right. We had too much fun around Good times. there. Hey, if you want to check out some movies tonight, we have some great ones. Don't forget to tune into our sister station, this TV on channel 52.2 and Tosh 215 for great movies all day, every day. The Target, starring Christopher Lambert, airs tonight at seven. Then at nine, you can catch The Woods with Agnes Brucker. The complete lineup is on our website. Just head over to KSBITV.com. Well, as you can see watching the show today, you <laughs> never know what you're going to get. But you know it's going to be fun and a little right. bit crazy. Tomorrow, we welcome back Jennifer J and Diamond Grit. They're going to be on our live stage. Uh, we'll have our wonderful mother blogger, Stephanie Clinton, from Hugs, Kisses, and Snot. Doing some more back to school stuff. Back to school gear is what we'll be chit chatting about. Our pet of the week will be here from Central Columbia Main Society, and we learn about cookies and cocktails. It's an event that Abby's going to be a judge at. That's right. Lucky. How did you get that gig? Well, they thought who would be good to judge a cocktail contest? And my name came up. <laughs> ding, 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 Shocker. ding. Winner. That's, That's right. That's great. I can't wait to That's hear about it. Funny. It's going to be it's going to be a fun uh, fun time. That's, yeah. It's Thursday night. Benefits the Girl Scouts. We'll hear all about it tomorrow. Make a cocktail on the show, so it'll be awesome. Ooh. We're going to leave you with one last song today. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 4. Here's the Byron Berline Band. Here comes the sun. Yeah.